Okay, today we're placing an implant in the number 14 site. Um, previously had an extraction and um, doesn't look like it was um, a very a traumatic extraction. She looked, uh, looked like she lost all of the keratinized tissues. If you look the scope here, the keratinized band is all the way to the ridge. So I'm going to be doing a tab flap and um, trying to get some of that keratinized tissue to the facial. Placing a 5.7 by 10 implant direct fixture, and um, this has a 5.7 millimeter uh, restorative interface and a 5.7 millimeter diameter uh, implant body, as opposed to the Zimmer, which is a 5.7 restorative and a um, 6.0 implant body, which I'm finding it's much harder to place. It binds more, and um, so I've kind of switched to um, the implant direct because the implant direct is more predictable. It doesn't have a screw either, it just has a um, kind of a friction lock attachment. This is true. Using the profile. Bunch of water boat. Try to breathe through your nose if you can and I'll try to get the water as fast as I can.
you can see how the bone is profiled there, uh, especially on the mesial. We'll put our healing button in. Putting a couple pieces of alodone in, and um, you can see the scale. Okay, so we've got our implant in, we've got that uh, ridge augmented on the facial, and we're going to adjust her stay plate. So we got her stay plate adjusted, but mm -hmm. this stay plate had some wires on it. Mm -hmm. um, had some wires on it, so, but the wire went, there was one wire that had two clasps and it went right over the healing abutment, so, um, Plus it had a flange that went all the way down in here. You can see we've augmented all that, so we've taken the flange off. Um, I may end up needing to put some little wings on here, something for retention. But for now, she'll just have to put some adhesive on the inside. Okay, so this is a two-week healing of the um, implant placement and number 14 with the augmentation on the facial. You can see that that's worked out really well. It's probably gonna, it's gonna flatten out and shrink a little bit. Um, but uh, for two weeks that's looking good and then we're going to um, reline her stay plate a little bit so it fits a little better. Take a look at the x-ray. Okay, so there's our, our pre-op healing of the extraction socket and then here's our uh, implant, a 5.7 implant direct with a 6.5 by 5 healing abutment. Okay, this is uh, the implant that uh, right after we placed it and this is the implant today um, and this is about six weeks or so and here on the mesial it doesn't it looks a little less dense but it's kind of more on the video side because there's plenty of bone there okay this is the final restoration on the um, implant in the 14 area And we'll take a look at the x-ray next.